Adolf Hitler, a man known worldwide for engineering a genocide which killed millions, chief among which were the Jews. His rabid anti-Semitism is not hidden from anybody, as it formed a key part of his ideology, termed as Nazism. In his view, the Jewish people were at fault for the problems Germany and Europe of his day faced, and therefore had to be annihilated. What was the result of this ideology? The mass murder of millions of Jews in one of the most horrific genocides in history. However, despite his vitriolic hatred for the community, Adolf Hitler did harbor immense gratitude towards a member of the Jewish people. This is the story of Eduard Bloch, a doctor who the Führer referred to as the noble Jew. The story of Eduard Bloch started in 1872 when he was born to a Jewish family in a village called Frauenburg. At that time, the village was part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. After studying medicine in Prague, Dr. Bloch joined the army as a military doctor. During the period, he was sent to the city of Linz, where he stayed after his military service. There, he opened his own private practice, situated at number 12 Landstrasse, also his and his family's residence. Dr. Bloch was said to have been held in high regard by many, especially by the lower classes, as he was willing to treat even those who could not afford his services. At the same time, a retired civil servant called Alois Hitler settled in the city along with his family. However, after the patriarch's death, the family's responsibilities laid on the shoulders of Alois's wife, Clara Hitler. Despite the difficulties, she, unlike her husband, doted over her son, Adolf. The latter reciprocated the feeling. Dr. Bloch met the Hitler family in 1904 when he treated the young Adolf for what seemed to be a cold caused by inflamed tonsils. Then, in 1907, Clara Hitler, the matriarch of the family, started to feel unwell which was then diagnosed to be breast cancer. After a failed surgery, Dr. Bloch then tried to treat Frau Hitler with iodoform, an extremely painful treatment, and used morphine to ease the pain. Keeping in mind the family's financial situation, doctor charged them the minimum, or sometimes nothing at all. Despite his efforts, Clara Hitler passed away on the 20th of December 1907. This immensely saddened Adolf, as his mother was the closest person to him. However, the experience also left him with immense gratitude towards the doctor. After the death of Frau Hitler, Adolf left for Vienna, while Dr. Bloch still remained in Linz. During the First World War, Dr. Bloch enlisted to be a military doctor and was given charge of a thousand-bed hospital. His private practice continued unimpeded well after the war, while the Austro-Hungarian Empire disintegrated and a new country called Austria emerged. However, things would not remain so for long. In 1933, Adolf Hitler rose to power in Germany, where he cemented his dictatorship. With his rise, the ideology of Nazism started to consolidate itself among Germans. It also started to take root in neighboring Austria, also a German-majority country. While anti-Semitism was nothing new to Austrian society, the rise of Hitler exasperated it. This impacted Dr. Bloch, as former patients now hesitated from visiting him due to his religion. Then, in 1938, German troops marched into Austria, annexing it into the Third Reich. A bleak a fate awaited the Jews who lived in the land. However, what would be the destiny of Dr. Edward Bloch, the family doctor of the Führer? To his relief, Hitler was still grateful to him for his services, despite his Jewish roots. The dictator referred to him as the Edeljude, or a noble Jew. As a result, Dr. Bloch did not have to face persecution at the hands of the Nazis. His house and Russian Khan were not marked to be Jewish, while he was allowed to keep his passport, privileges no other Austrian Jew re received. 
However, he was now only allowed to treat Jews, effectively ending his medical career. Then, as his daughter and son-in-law emigrated to the United States, Dr. Block requested to be allowed to emigrate. His request was accepted, and he migrated to the United States in 1940. While leaving, he was allowed to sell his house at market value and to take 16 Reichsmarks out of the country, a privilege not afforded to other Jews. In the United States, Dr. Block could not practice medicine as his degree from Austria-Hungary was not recognized. As he was Hitler's family doctor, the Office of Strategic Services, the wartime era intelligence agency, interviewed him for information on the Führer's childhood. Block also wrote a two-part essay titled My Patient Hitler, which is considered to be quite a valuable primary source on the dictator's adolescence. Then, in June of 1945, Dr. Edward Block died of stomach cancer at the age of 73, barely a month after his former patient took his own life.